Hi everyone. Um, so I'm Diane. I work at Bureau Happel. I'm an engineer and I'm just going to talk about some diversity topics. All right, next slide. So I want to take a look at what a company can look like while still being considered diverse. So I work in the world of sustainable building, so I chose to use the JUST label since it was created by the International Living Future Institute. So there's this company, let's call it the Green Company, which is completely imaginary, and let's say it's in LA. So you commute to this office and you drive through a 48% racially diverse city, or you live in one and then you open up your work from home computer or you walk inside the office and suddenly you enter an environment that is almost half that diversity amount. So this company is still getting points in the ethnically diverse category because city demographics are irrelevant. As long as the diversity reflects that of the state, you get some points. But as you know, the social conversation is not only about diversity, but also about equity. So let's look at that category. So for this category, you can submit a diagram that shows your gender, shows the gender gap. So in a couple moments, you'll see that come up on the slides. <laughs> there you go. So this fun colorful diagram shows the difference between men and women in terms of their salary. The smaller, the better. So the closer to zero, the better. And it looks pretty good here. The, they have about 2% difference in a couple of those positions. So, and it sounds like you don't even need to mention that the people of color get paid 15% to 20% less than the white coworkers. So this green company still looks pretty good on paper since the ethnical wage gap is non-existent in this category. And there you go, that's all the hard set metrics the green company has to submit for diversity and equity. So at the beginning, some of you may have thought that 20 something percent diverse was pretty good, maybe better than you've seen in other companies. But what I didn't tell you and what the green company doesn't want me to tell you is that 100% of those people of color quit after two years. I don't know, maybe they found out that they get paid less or maybe they're tired of being, you know, shunned out of meetings. Maybe they're tired of the racist comments. Either way, the green company has hired an excellent recruitment team. And so they simply replace all the people of color that quit with new people of color. So in their eyes, that solves their problem. So this green company is imaginary, but it represents the types of organizations that are actually quite common across the country. So just reflect on, is your organization maybe taking advantage of these loopholes even a little bit? Is there transparency in the ethnic wage gap? And when you talk about diversity, are you focused on recruitment, retention, or both? Think beyond the metrics of any of these scoreboards or credentials. Thank you.